chapter 9, lesson 2, is word problems. So, the topics so far are just addition and subtraction of uh, fractions. Therefore, the only bar models that we really need to know for this lesson would be the three, which are the part whole, add on, take away, and the compare for addition and subtraction. Okay, so which means if uh, we look at the problems that we have, these are on page 48 and 49. So I'm going to start with problem number three. So these problems don't offer any bar models. So which means it's ideal for us to come up with the bar models ourselves. Okay, so it says, Vin made some fruit punch with 3 fourth liters of orange juice and 2 fifth liters of mango juice. Okay, the first question, so meaning there's an A and a B, this is a two-step word problem. So the first question says, what volume of fruit punch did he have? So here, you can do either a part whole or an add-on. I would do a part whole. So which means one part is the uh, orange juice and the other part is the uh, mango juice. Orange juice, mango juice. Okay, so this is three-fourth of a liter and this is two-fifth of a liter. Okay, and the question is how much, uh, what volume of fruit punch did he have? And we're supposed to give us a mixed number in simplest form. So which means our operation will be addition. Okay, so from the last lesson, we know that we need to make these the same denominator. So common denominator will be 20. Okay, so I need to multiply this by 5 times that by 5 would be 15. I need to multiply that by 4 times that by 4, that will be 8. So I'll put that there, times 4, and this is times 5. Okay, so which means if we put it together, that will make it 23 over 20. And that will be in mixed number equal to, so I'll just put or, equal to one whole and three over 20th liters. Okay, so again, if the kids cannot see, then that means we have to divide. And when we divide, we will get one remainder three. Okay, so that is letter A. In letter B, it says, Vin had two liters of orange juice at first. Then it says, how much orange juice did he have left? So the word did he have left means this is a takeaway model. Okay, so which means this and then remove. Oops. This is two liters. This is what's left. This was the orange juice used. So that means that's three fourths. So which means since a part is missing, oops, this is since a part is missing, then that means that will be a subtraction problem. So two liters minus three fourths of a liter is equal to our question mark, which is there. Okay, so when we do this, again, this is technically 8 over 4 minus 3 over 4, which makes it 5 over 4, which makes it 1 and 1 fourth liters. So again, this is over 1, 2 over 1, common denominator, but we could also make it so that it's uh, 2, I'll put it here. 2 is 1 and 4 over 4 minus 3 fourth 
Okay, which means that's also one and one fourth. So either case, either way, we get the same answer. Okay, another example will be number four. Okay, so in number four, it says, in a cooking competition, Madame Seti used seven tenth kilograms of curry powder. Okay, then it says, Madame Noor used one fifth kilograms of curry powder. More, sorry. Madame Noor used one fifth kilograms less curry powder than Madame Seti. Okay, so clearly this is a compare model. Okay, so then it says how much curry powder did they use all together? And clearly this is a two-step bar model. Okay, so which means we'll start with Madame Seti and Madame Noor. Okay, so Madame Noor used one-fifth kilogram less. Okay, so that means... The longer is Madame City. So this is one fifth kilogram. Okay, and this is seven tenth kilograms. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is figure out what Madame Noor or how much Madame Noor used. Okay, now we don't if we don't want to use a second bar model, we can put the question mark here and call this number one and call this number two. But usually when it's like this, I'd use a part whole bar model for the second problem. So which means first we got to take seven tenth and we minus one fifth to get the first question. Okay, making them the same denominator this will be 2 over 10, which means this is 5 over 10. Now, if it asks how much Madame Noor used, then that means I need to reduce that and make it one half. But since it's a continuous process, then that means I could leave it like that so that I don't have to worry about it later. So this is... The second step. So this is MS and MN. This is 7 tenth. This is 5 tenth. And this is question mark. So which means if I add 7 tenth and 5 tenth, that will give me my question mark because it's part whole, missing is the whole. Combined together, that will be 12 over 10, which reduces to 6 over 5 or 1 and 1 fifth. So again, the word problems could be challenging. We need the bar models to help us. Uh, if it's difficult for the kids, we need to keep refreshing them with the different types of bar models. That concludes lesson two of chapter nine, which also concludes the chapter and the module. I'll see you in the next module.